Hello everyone, welcome back to Game of Thrones Card Game World Championship. This is the Grand Final. Yes it is. And it's a match we've seen before, not these exact players, but it is a Targ, Sea of Blood, Mirror. Yes. Yeah, there were a lot of there were a lot of these Sea of Blood decks throughout the tournament. Uh, and now we have the two best ones. The two best ones? So we've got Alex Black versus Francis Cote. Uh, it's going to be a two hour final. We will probably not need that much time. I, Hopefully, I definitely don't. Think I need to go home and watch the Oscars. So uh, we, we, we all have things we need to get to. Uh, so yeah, their their decks are not 100 percent the same, but there are two cards different. 97% the same. Yes. <laughs> so there are two cards different between uh, between their two decks. So on Alex's side, he is playing. Uh, Koholo and Old Bill Bone. And on Francis' side, he's playing a second Aegon and a Dothraki Steed. I like the Dothraki Steed. I had that. Yeah, that's a that's a cool little include. Uh, I like the Old Bill Bone. I think Old Bill Bone is real good and could be end up really good in this matchup. Uh, could be a difference maker. So if you don't mind, I can put it on yours as well. So we remember who's coming back. Yeah. For, to so yeah, both players happening. just shuffling so up their plots, the, uh, which are the same in both decks. We've got Fury of the Colossar, we'll March to the Wall, Return of the no Fields, 10. King of the North, Valor Morghulis, Vanquish the Unbelievers, and you win or you die. Yes. Um, like we were talking about before, I think a King's Road is going to be very important here on setup. Yeah, absolutely. If, if someone can set that up and... Uh, I would uh, that win well. initiative on their vanquish, because uh, presumably both players will open vanquish. And it's something that uh, we, we were talking about as well. That um, like Reinhardt was Look running a uh, sneak right. attack job, purely for the mirror <laughs> in order to get that win initiative <laughs> on, on that first one. Hurt, yep. yeah plot um, one. Do you guys have any questions? But yeah, I uh, expect uh, it'll be uh, almost uh, like Mulligan for a King's Road. Mulligan. Yeah, I mean, in this matchup, I think you really want money anyway, but things like a Quotho would be a huge start. Yep. Um, we'll take the time. No, they're, they're ready to go now. Okay. I'm just waiting on you guys to, to do the cut before you drop hands or draw hands up. I'm going to start the time. I wonder if they will yeah. even review each other's deck lists. Or uh, if so, I imagine it would just... Uh, I think it's going to be very quick. Yeah. I use this for Yep. Same as Kevin, right? And then, uh, that is accurate. Two hours worth of time. One, two, zero. Minutes. <laughs> and I'll use the blue for uh, usually just a claim. Oh, to see which card? Just like which yeah. Yeah, yeah, if one player has a King's Row and the other doesn't, it definitely makes the plot game that way interesting. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't develop I, any habits. Of exactly. I feel like people develop habits and then, yeah, it's just easier. I agree with you, though. People like All right, let's see what. Oh, yeah. I'll stop now. We've got here. Shuffle a bit more. Oh, they're not trying to feeling it. They're just, they're still just shuffling. <laughs> Would you like to go through the uh, pre phase determine first player for marshalling? <laughs> no. We'll just do it at the same time. They're both passing on uh, determining yeah. first player before the game starts. Yeah, the, the as, who, as deci who decides to mulligan first thing, it's usually yeah. unnecessary. All right. Hold on. They haven't, on. Uh, unless they did it off camera, right they haven't the even reviewed yeah. the deck list. I wonder if they're just realizing that their decks are so close or if they're just forgetting this step. But yeah. Time starts in three, two, now. Uh, that timer that we got there, it reads an hour and 20 minutes. It should be two hours or 120 minutes. All right, so we got here. All right, I see no King's Roads on Alex's side. I see a plaza. Yeah. The way Francis is holding his cards makes it very difficult. Um, uh, let's see a plaza. That's yep, Alex has got Call Drogo. He's got, I think, a devoted Blood Rider in there. Yep. Oh, I'm throwing it back. I think this is Alejandro. He says they talked about the two-card difference last night. So yeah. <laughs> they're apparently very familiar with the differences in their deck. Uh, Alex has taken a mulligan here. Uh, looks like Francis is keeping. So. Yeah. 
I really like putting old Bilbo in this deck. That's uh, good stuff. One hour, five, eight minutes, and four, five seconds. I doubt we need the two hours. <laughs> so, hour something could happen. You never know. They could end Three, up in a situation two, where they kill one, all of each other's zero. stuff. Yeah. And then they just have to poke each other with braided warriors <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> so. But they're talking about the fact that they probably will not need the two hours, which I agree with. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is a market? Is a I braided didn't see a warrior? King's Road at all. I didn't see a King's Road. Nope. Yeah, it looks like he's keeping it. He's got a market, which is good. Definitely good on setup. Yeah, it looks like he had a market and a couple of small units. And yep. I didn't see any bombs. All right, Alex drawing up here. Nice, King's, King's Road. Road. Braid Warrior. Kotho, that's good. Call Drogo. Oh, my God. Another Kotho. Put to the torch. Oh, and he's got a little pud there, too. On the other side, like a Yuri or a Chiqui. Yep. Ready when you are. That looks pretty good for Alex. Ready. Set up a duped Kotho. Think yeah. So. All right, Womb Ooh, of the World Santa, on France. I mean, that's much better in the mirror, right? Because you don't have to worry about the Baron or the other... The other things that are going to normally shut you off. Maybe maybe a King Plot, but... Yeah. I don't think there's any way Alex opens King Plot here, like... He's yeah. He's going to vanquish. Uh, All right. Well, Francis has his own Kotho in hand. That's good. Yep. Wound will definitely help as well. Yep. Yeah, it'll all be about... Cause like, so he's going to lose initiative here, uh, which means Alex is going to get the first punch. Uh, he has a call Drogo in hand, too. So it's all about whether with, like, Womb of the World and his own Kotho in hand and the rest of that if Francis can muster a defense. Yep. Yeah, and with the money from the King's Road, um, that Drogo is probably seeing the board. Yeah. So. I think, yeah, um, Francis should have a plaza in hand, too, which should do some work against that, like, multiple defenses because yep. he's going to have to do that. I wonder if he furies just to get an extra guy on the board for to like make it through this first round but nope they're both gonna vanquish it's gonna be me. yep alex takes first player <laughs> makes <Talk> sense <laughs> Ooh, he gets an Aegon. minnesota wishes it was in canada no we really don't we really don't i'm sorry <laughs> See what Alex yeah, marshals man. here. So Francis did draw into an Aegon. Oh, nice. Which is interesting because with six effective gold, he could put down Plaza and do his Aegon play. Yeah. With Womb and Kotho, I feel like he could get through this turn. I don't think he's getting his own. I don't think he's getting through the turn and getting his own Sea Blood trigger off. Right. But you never know. There's Drogo. I think the next card that Alex... Okay, there it is. Alex does have a plaza as well. That's important. Yep. Saving a gold for uh, gold. your put to the sword. Potentially. A lot also depends on what uh, Francis reveals on the womb. True. Yep. There's the Aegon. Okay, I like where this is going. Then we get a plaza. Ooh, he has a Lay Siege. Lay Siege on the plaza. But, but you can't do... Okay. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Okay. Nice. So that's more important than his own plaza this turn. Which which seems like it makes sense. So you're going to have you're gonna have Aegon, you're going to have a Womb Trigger, yeah. and you're going to have... Uh, Rain and Kalasar? Do you have any pre-challenge actions? Yep. I have no pre-challenge actions. I passed mine for now as well. 
Okay, no pre-challenge. That makes sense. Wait for a challenge to be declared. So, I mean, this is still all going to depend on what the womb hits, right? Because yep. he has... 13 military strength there. Right. So you can go get a 6, but you need your womb to hit a 5 to be able to defend that challenge. Yep. Because even if you... Oh, wait, and no, he has, he has the Kotho, too. Oh, yeah. okay, so he's so in a really good po spot right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He so might, I don't think either of them are going to get to see a blood trigger off, but I think same. I think uh, Francis is going to be able to defend here and win his own military, depending on how Alex declares here. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually looking pretty good for Francis. Thinking about yeah, Alex has some. Do. He he has some interesting choices. Like it may be more important here for him to just win a military challenge than him to be able to trigger Sea of Blood, right? Right. So if you do an eight and a five, that's probably going to be more impactful than yeah, uh, than a one thirteen. Than a one thirteen, because yeah. uh, assuming he has all these answers, which he does, you're going to have to start beating things by one, right? And the numbers are just going to be harder for. Uh, the numbers are going to be harder for Alex or for Francis. Yep. That lay siege on the plaza is also real good. Real good. Yeah. I mean, it's it's questionable if just playing your own plaza is better, because then it cancels yeah. kind of right. You get both, but but because he knew he was going to have to defend first. Right. Um, yeah. Exactly. What I would have liked to see was save the lay siege for the challenge phase. Oh sure. Because let him declare his first challenge, thinking he's going to get that off. Oh, no, he's the first player. Never mind. You would declare the challenge in the first action window. You immediately stand. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's an opportunity that somebody could miss, but it's unlikely. I Especially Alex. Yeah. I might. It would be very good for you. I might not. <laughs> they're, they're discussing it right now, and Alex <laughs> is starting to realize this might be very good for, for Francis. But again, I don't... And he's not... I don't know if he's uh, predicting the the quota, but you kind of have to, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to expect it. This is a really tough call, Francis. I know. Yeah, it is tough. This is, I mean, this is pretty much the game right here, how this first Passing plot so, phase, I mean, first round. Assuming Francis blocks both military challenges, yep. right? Um, and is able to swing back and get his own, which who knows if he's going to be able to do that. At worst, he's going to lose a Kotho dupe in the Braided Warrior, and he's still going to have Drogo and Kotho on the board. Right. And even if you go back there and march at that point, you're still, you still have Drogo and you can rebuild a board. That womb, though, is just going to start giving value, more and more value every single turn. Right, exactly. So. All right, we're going to start with, we're gonna start with uh, playing with our cards. <laughs> we're going to start kneeling them and then stay in the back up. Where's the name the time? Seven. Yeah, I, f I don't think Francis will be able to win both military challenges on defense and also okay. hit back with his own. Really depends on this womb, I think. Yeah, exactly. Okay, not a good start. Nothing. It's worse. Okay, there's a blood rider. That's something. Oh... Okay. I still think it's fine. It's still fine. It could have been way better. But but the Blood Rider is actually really good because it makes Quotho a six and it makes the, depending on which character you bring in with Aegon, uh, no, that's not going to be a Blood Rider. But still, right. the Quotho being a six means that Quotho and Braided Warrior can block this challenge. And yep. now Raiden Kalasar can block Quotho. Yep. And now you have. And then you have the hit back. You have yeah. the hit back. Yep. yep. So yep. I actually yep. think that was that was that, that works perfect. out. Do you have an action? I have an action. I'll stop shuffling because it's yeah, Aegon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop shuffling because it's Aegon. That's fair. <laughs> 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 Makes sense. You're at an eight, right? Currently. 
Woof. Yeah, this is not good for Alex. No, it's really not. And he's going to be able to hit back with... Uh, if he has a Masandi in hand, all three challenges, because of the quote, though. But at least two. So, I mean, Alex still doesn't realize that I mean, he's he's got to be predicted in the quote though. But until he sees it, he's still not dead. Roadblock he has for nine. I will remember my strength one. Yep. Roadblock <laughs> for nine. <laughs> yes. Do you have any I like that Francis marks the or targets or that are returned to hand. Well? Yep. I win. Yes. Village. Oh, triggering pillage! What? what? <laughs> <laughs> People don't trigger pillage here. I, see, I don't like that. And really, that's that's why you don't trigger pillage. Yeah. Because now I mean, there's a Colossar in the discard pile. Yeah, and <laughs> over one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... I think he just realized. He's like, ah, oh, that's... He is like, oh, wait, why <laughs> did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> you can use the market to put it back on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe not the worst play. <laughs> yep, Alex is predicting the Quotho here. You know I got to ask to try to at least get a read. <laughs> but you don't know me, so that's good. <laughs> it does help a little bit. Yeah. You snapped that thing off so quick without a king's ring. I feel like that has to sink off. Pass. Oh, he's passing here. Yep. Last challenges? Pre challenge actions? Entry. This one's intrigued with Aegon. Is it That's just one better? It's, I guess it's kind this of one? the same. If he has sure. the quote, though, yeah, no this one. I think you have to make him have the quote, though, right? Like, yeah. Do the challenge. Well, if, he, if, he, if he doesn't yeah, have it, you win a military challenge, which is good. You kill two characters. Even if they're both the ones that are leaving, it's still good. Right. I guess I'm not sure what you gain from holding your Kotho back. Discard two cards now. Right? Like you're not winning this challenge. I mean, I guess you, you prevent the unopposed. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So we're discarding Rikaro and... Not that plaza. Yeah, there you go. Stop the Sea of Blood trigger. You weren't going to get the Sea of Blood trigger either way because you needed... He would have had to block the Kotho with the Kotho. So right, this but this way you can stop uh, right. France to see a blood trigger. Thank you. No, uh, but like, you know what I mean? If yeah, they had traded uh, Quotho's, if, if Quotho, I see, I see, if I Quotho had attacked, it would have been... Do you have a pre challenge yep, action? Yeah. But he's getting dominance. No, he defended with Quotho. That Quotho should be knelt. Just back under. Not a problem. Right, he, he just... Yeah. Belongs, that Quotho right? should be knelt. Hey? Back where he belongs, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, overwhelming yeah, numbers <laughs> is uh, very <laughs> annoying. <laughs> Both of them needs to be yes. Yep. There, oh, we yeah. the there, there we go. There you go. There we go. There we go. Do you have a pre challenge action? No. I don't either. And a phase, they both go to back to hand? Yep. Yeah, this I is actually a good point that somebody makes in chat here. So, uh, and this is kind of the line that I was thinking as well. If he had. Um, if he had brought the Quotho out earlier to block the first attack, then he could have used the Raiden Kalasar to. To attack, and get, to three attack and get three claim. Yeah, um, which is dead call Drogo. Yeah, but like the the Aegon basically has to be Aegon. There's no other shadows options for this deck, right? Because yep. he doesn't have the uh, the old Bill Bone. There's Shadow of the East, but uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, he, he could have assumed it was a bait, but like it's it's very likely that it's an Aegon. Yeah. So if if that if he had left the Aegon in shadows up to that point, I think you have to do the attack with the Quotho and force the block with. The Raiden Kalasar, so I don't think you're going to get the three claim off either way. Right, 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 right. All right, so, I mean, I feel like you marched here on Francis's side. Right? Oh, yeah. Um, Big yeah. And I, I think you get rid of the Aegon because it's just like you want military icons right now. Not quite ready. Might not be as well.
my radio is working just fine. Can you not hear me? So power is only one to one after that, but it's really more about these bodies, right? Yeah, and it's definitely looking like uh, Alex has called Drogo, but having more bodies and the womb on Francis's side. It's really the womb. Yeah. It's such a... And knowing, obviously, that Francis has a plaza in his hand, that will probably make an appearance this round. Yep. Um, that will be very important. Yeah. If Alex is able to torch that womb quickly, that could be a difference maker. Did Francis use his market? Uh, yeah, he did. He put... The, uh, the Colossar that he pillaged. Did he put that, it back? That, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> one to one currently. Yeah. With, with these decks, so I, I hate to try to done. call anybody having anything before the game is over because there is some crazy stuff like we saw in the last game on yeah. the Yeah, we've seen Alex especially make some crazy comebacks. Yeah, this is the problem with setting up Quotho, right? He had a dupe Quotho on setup, but, you know, action speed in that guy is uh, much more efficient. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Alex is considering Fury here. I mean, it's like... Not, it's not much gold. L yeah, it's not much gold, but like I was saying last turn, Francis, like maybe could have done the same thing just for bodies like just having another dude on the board um he's not going to win initiative because he's marching um i mean it would go to a coin clip if they both march but obviously he doesn't want to do that king of the north's interest in shut off the womb for the turn yep if you don't have your your gift or your beggar king i think he might have had the gift i could who quite who see it. it. Uh, Alex. Alex. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, no. Never mind. I don't think that Ready? is a gift. Yep. I'll go first. Marched. The king in the north. To your march. Okay, all of that makes it. sense. Top decked another plaza, I believe. Uh, got a womb on uh, Alex's four, side. Five it's going to be interesting here if neither player has, has the, gift, king. <laughs> the gift or the beggar because, yeah, yeah it's just going to be strength against strength. Yes. By having this first turn advantage, Somebody needs a, a Jogo. That that stealth is just incredibly powerful in this uh, in this mirror. Yeah. Uh, devoted Blood Rider. Okay. Maybe that Horse Lord. Yep. Makes sense over the Plaza right now because you can't use it. Just yeah. Just go for those passive strength buffs. I don't. I really wish he saved a dollar here. Because King of the North doesn't shut off your agenda. No, no. So, so you you could have could have gotten a put play here, but maybe a torch on Plaza is just okay. enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does Alex have here? He's got his own devoted Blood Rider. That horse lord would be four strength if Francis throws everything in. Six, ten. So he's got sixteen military strength. Does does devoted blood rider say each uh, blood rider or each blood rider you control? It's got to say you control, right? Uh, devoted blood rider. Yeah. Yeah, it's your control. Okay. Yeah. And. Drogo is not a blood rider, so that's... He is not. Francis does only have one claim here. And he did not save the gold for, for put to the sword, as we mentioned. Yeah. So it's looking like it'll just be the one claim. Well, 
Twitter for So if, if you're if the only thing you're gonna get is the like a torch plant in the plaza, do you go over the top or do you make sure that you can block here? I mean I mean I think you make sure you don't lose by five, right? If right. Alex, oh, if Alex sure. just says unopposed, you wanna make sure you don't lose by but five. If he, so he's throwing in uh, nine Three, right now. Six, nine. So, so that's that Is makes that right? sense because now Quotho's a six. You have a six held in. back. Yeah, yep. Like so you can you can I lose nice. you can lose a military, but you Thank can't you. lose by five. Right. 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 So. But now Alex can defend with the Blood Rider, claim that, and hit back with uh, intrigue, which uh, Francis can't block with Quotho because Drogo is still up. And then you hit power, I guess. Yep. Five. Five. You? Five. Same. Yeah. I mean, also just stop in the... Like, because you can't win the challenge with Drogo. Well, okay. I mean, you could win a power challenge. You I can't win a military five. challenge. Exactly. I almost would have wanted to just stop the Sea of Blood altogether, because given the Sea of Blood token... Yeah. It's huge. Like, just making that, that second Sea of Blood trigger is so much more efficient than the first. Yep. Um, and you get the, um, yeah, getting his gifts. Uh, that's So he won't be able to play it because yeah. there's no action window and he doesn't have gold. Correct. Uh, he can play it if so it Alex declares a military action. challenge, but... I don't think he will. Because he, he can't force it through since Kotho's sixth strength. I don't think I do. I don't. Doesn't He's it just feel like he should have got the torch for the plaza? Claim of one. I mean, you can't use the plaza uh, this turn, uh, so like, yeah. Have any he could be options? setting yeah. up uh, if Francis is going to do king of the north no next challenges. round. He wants to make sure uh, he can get his king. So that makes sense. We pass free challenge actions. And I pass challenges. Pass some challenges. Yeah. Okay. And I pass my free challenge actions. Yeah, okay, so we're on to Alex's yeah. challenges. Yeah. Go ahead and trigger there. I think it's going to play out just as you called it. I'll be fine. All right. Cool. Oh. So he is going to block it, which means he'll... Uh, so, yep, he is going to do the military, so it will give him the gifts from the Widow. One. And then a Womb of the World trigger. Oh. But, uh... That is... Yeah, okay. That's going to give him a Womb trigger. That's... Yeah. Yeah, probably still should have gone done power. Correct. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, that's always. Uh, yeah, yeah. That could. Uh, that could not be good. The Sea of Blood tokens obviously do reduce during all military, right? Not just your military. Yeah. Yep. Do you have an action? Do you have an action? No. 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 Nothing. All right, there's Jogo. Yep. Oh man, I take Jogo just to put him That's in my five, hand. That's five, right? Yeah. Take the Jogo, kill the Braided Warrior. Five. Blocks him. Promise That's I won't yell if I win like that. <laughs> Richard Walker, Melee World Champion? By one card in deck. <laughs> That's uh, amazing. Oh my god, Melee went to cards in deck. <laughs> of course it did. Uh, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's awesome. I will defend for a four. It's like I'm gonna win. You win, claim. Horse Lord, okay, yep. Makes sense. Could have renowned on Drogo. Pass challenges. Jogo's gonna go back to hand. Yeah. I have to discard a card. Sure do. There's no dom first. There is no dom, that's correct. Stand. Uh, 
So do you think we see the counter king plot here? I would expect it, especially since he went and got his, or, or yeah, uh, yeah, he already played it. Um, he has Beggar King, yeah. Yeah, uh, I would expect it. Right? I mean, a, a Fury and yep. just like crushing the game might be, like just might two be claim. Better. Yeah. Go. Uh, I mean, you might not go first if you do that, but Alex might have to march here just to get the initiative to make sure he goes first. What's the power total? That two to feel one. Good yeah, uh, two to one. The power total is like so misleading in this sort of game, though. Sure, yeah, yeah. But like, like, I was just thinking yeah, for yeah, a tie. If like, if right. if, it, so if we get like double, uh, you win or you die, or Marge, you win you die. Um, yep, yep, yep. Francis yep. is gonna get to make the decision here. So I see, I see. Yeah. I mean, Francis only has five cards in hand. Uh, you win or you die. Turn might give you might give you that uh, Drogo draw. If he gets a Drogo on the board through womb or or drawing it, it could be just definitely game. Yeah. Tough decisions. Looks like Fury on Alex's side. Ready? Makes sense. I will go first. Yep. Fury on both sides. Fury. Yep. Okay. I will trigger Baker King. That's into uh, no. I will can't not trigger Baker King. Can't, can't, can't do that. Three <laughs> to three. It's equal. Um, I definitely thought we were going to see on one of the eight it's initiative three, plots out of one of the two of them, but... Does who has a raiding Kalasar in their hand? I don't see one in either person's hand. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, you definitely. Nice. This feels bad because you're still you still don't have your okay. plaza on the board. <laughs> you have that in your hand since turn one, and it's so good. Yeah. But you know, being able to just solidify that way. And he doesn't see a blood token already now. So if he if he gets a if he gets the trigger off, wit and he has stealth, so he's almost def he's definitely getting the trigger off. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna get that put. So if, if uh, Alex doesn't have a dupe for that Drogo, which doesn't look like he has one. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have enough money for the womb either. If he got if he got his own womb out, he could he could womb into a Drogo dupe. But yeah. Alex has just seen no economy since that first uh, King's Road. Yep. No gold. Well, neither is Francis. Just the market. Or sword there. Yep, uh, that's I'll trigger yours first. Got a Koholo. Ugh, Ooh, Kalasar. He does have the Kalasar. Yeah, this is, looks really, really good for Francis. Uh, let's see what he hits. Course Lord, Braided Warrior, Raiden Kalasar. Oh. oh my gosh. That might just be game. That's four claim. As we have we seen in sometimes. the previous stream, match. I mean, I, I would have put anyways. I, I, I'm pushing it through. Yeah, he said he would have put anyway. I mean, now he can put to now the he torch. Now he can put to the torch. Literally and clear oh, everything. Yeah. Jumped. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> I mean, this is what you get out of these style decks, right? I've played a lot we'll of Targ and Greyjoy. In the in the metas <laughs> where they were the the thing, right? Yeah. And the mirrors just come down to these yeah, micro sure. draw That's decisions. You know. Yeah. Sometimes you can't even do anything. You just don't get to see the right card. And yeah, I mean it's been womb of the world and uh, yeah, and setting up challenge. the Kotho on uh, Alex's side. And, and every other game, I would always say like setting up womb so is so like probably the worst thing you can do. Right. But in this matchup, because you know he doesn't have answers, well, we it's just been it. so much value the whole time. Yep. Military stealth. 
Yep, big old military challenge. Hey. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I mean, 10, 11, that's, 12, yeah, I mean, you have 12, to put 24. both of the other guys in. You might as well put all your, your solo military in. You want that stealth. Yes, it is not a best of three final. It is single elimination. I mean, with the with the Jogo troop, I think he's looking right here now and saying like, well, what what are my outs? If I if I Valor next turn, does that even do anything for me? Because he'll still have Jogo and he'll have two Raiden Kalasars in hand. Yeah. <laughs> like, you probably won't have the money to play them. Like, I oh, you you win or you die. You'll have one. Um, but. Jeez. I almost would have wanted to keep one. Like, you could have done the put play still. Even though you have two, you could do the put play and get that power challenge off. But He's stealth. Nice. I don't have any actions, do you? No. Oh, he could stand the horse lord. I win? No, no, never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> he could use the plaza to stand the horse lord and get that Masande in play, but then then he gets the put and still kills yeah. all five. Like, yeah, because it it's four claim plus. Uh, yeah. yes, there goes the. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> when these decks go off, they're just disgusting. Yeah. Yep, four claim. Feels bad. Pillage twice. Alex goes to one. Pillage twice. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's a good pillage for. We're doing the pillage. pillage. That would have been much worse drawing that dead character. But I like how we've been talking other. all weekend about people not triggering pillage on the rain Kossar. and at least in the Swiss, it seemed more often that it was they were missing it than because they wouldn't even reference five, it, right? But every time someone has triggered pillage, it has invariably been bad. <laughs> Claim of two. Nice. Oh, there goes his wound. I do <laughs> not have any other actions. It's two to one, too, but like, it's <laughs> just. It's I have no, no more challenges. Pass challenges. Pass challenges. Go back to hand. Yeah, like even if you Valor here, he still has a crazy big Jogo yes. and two Raiding Colossars in hand. Yeah. Alex, two power. I got to discard two cards to reserve. Yeah. One will be Plaza. Thank you. Yeah. What plot are we on? Three? Uh, it's not even yep. like you could try to survive until Francis has to Valor himself. There's no way it lasts that long. Yeah. And, and you king in the north here, right? Because if you... If he does Valor, you just replay the hand. It's fine. Or the beggar king. Yep. This is why the game needed best of three. Yeah, it's... All right. Flips return into marched. All right. So Alex just saying like Perfect. I'm gonna get the initiative here. See if I can make anything happen. Yeah. My I mean, it's a better chance than Valorant. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say Francis really wants to kill one character or to sack one character here because yeah. it'll get him up to six gold, so he can play one of those Raiden Kalasars. Yeah. See what Alex has in hand. He's got an old Bill Bone, King's Road, Shadow of the East, Cheap one of the Dothraki people. Yeah, in a Marinese market. Yep. Yeah. Those, are, those those aren't the game those changers. Are, those are not the cards you need, <laughs> especially since you're about to be looking down a Raiden Kalasar.
Okay, put a shadow. Wait, did he have two shadows at least in his hand? Uh. I guess I did not see it. And Masande. I had one goal from my pot and five from four or five. One from my turn. Oh <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Oh, we put old Bilbo. That's, that's what he did. That yeah, so that's right. One for Plaza. I had it since the beginning. I just had no, no goal for it. Yeah. The one turn he had gold for it. It was a King of the North turn, didn't matter. Yep. Keep it going. It's right. interesting. I feel like I sack the King's Road there and just play a Raiding Kalasar, but like, I guess it doesn't matter. A little room? Yeah, it, the initiative helps. Yeah. Oh, Droga. Oh, take Cal. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pass. Yeah. Francis, three power. <laughs> he still, he definitely can't close this turn. No. I mean, he has closed in the sense that he has complete and total dominance of the game. But, uh, getting the power to, uh, lock it in will take a little bit. Intrigue. So what would you power. like? Middle one. Middle one? What do we got? Shadow of the East, yep. That's an Aegon. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Aegon would definitely be better there in this situation. No what? What is. Overwhelming numbers. Oh, he just wants to bring these cards back to hand for next turn, I guess. Yeah, just use it as draw. That's fair. I was going to say, though, like, just get a power challenge in there, but... Oh, mm -hmm. you saw the plaza. Never yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah. you'll get a power right. challenge. Yep. Hold. End of challenges. So oh, they put the token? Yes. Is that mandatory? That's what I'm checking. I'm not sure it matters. Okay. Oh, he missed uh, the... Yes. If, if, because he triggered the reaction, the whole reaction. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, what well, worse that? Unopposed, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, is he forgetting about his plaza here? He is. No, um, they go back at the end of the challenge. Oh, at the end of the challenge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Power? No finish. False claim. Francis, seven power. Alex, one power. Putting a lot of numbers back in the deck. And a phase. Dom is mine. I got one goal. All right, eight to one. Now look at your use pop, uh, pop, pop, please. So he's got. Valor, uh, when you die, and return, and return left. So, I mean, it's gotta be when you die. Uh, yeah, I mean, it basically says it all. First player? Yep. 
that the king? Uh, yep. king, of king of the north. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Alex is going first. Makes sense. Raiding Colossar, Beardy's Market, Hooded Blood Rider, and uh, Hago, I think it was. Those are not the cards. We saw uh, an earlier Targ Steel Blood Mirror where Alex was. Uh, when you died, the perfect four cards to yes. flip it around. Yeah. There it is. The finals has. I, I, ended. Had, to, I had to nod that. Man. Is had. Francis Cote is the I, world champion. Uh, the right. final as world soon champion. as I saw my hat, I had to go through the seven cards. Congratulations. I know yeah, yeah I huge congratulations. Wins. Congratulations wins. to wins. Alex Black for making it so far. Had a huge, and crazy Poto. run. Like, making it all the way to the finals. I don't care about no, initiative when you have that. No small feat, that is for sure. Uh, and yeah, the game really uh, came down a lot to, like, as we were kind of saying, those like micro differences and uh, having the wound. A lot of it was wound, yeah, yep. like in this mirror, being able to set up wound. And I, and I think Alex is really, the, the big problem was setting up Quotho yep. and having your opponent Quotho turn one, just like... It's such an economic difference. Yeah. Yeah. So. When he gets it for two cards and you spent five of your yeah. setup gold on it. I thought you were going to do that. That's gross. Yeah. Wow. What, what a good game. Uh, all right. So that was, that was it. That was, that was the, it. Uh, the final. Uh, we did it. And here we are. So thank you, everyone, for watching. This was the Game of Thrones the Card Game World Championship in 2020. Uh, it was the 2019 World Championship, but we had it in in 2020. Uh, this was the Game of Thrones. So this this uh this game has always had a really special place in my heart. This has been my favorite game for like its entire existence uh, <laughs> since I got into it. Maybe like halfway through first edition. Yep. Um, and uh, playing through all of second edition and going to all these tournaments and meeting all these amazing people. So it's a great it's, community. Yeah, it's been an amazing time. So thank you all of you so much for being part of that. Uh, and uh, just, you know, playing playing cards with each other. Uh, and hopefully we'll do it again in the future. Absolutely. In, uh, in, uh, in another game. So we'll see you guys next time. And uh, congratulations once more to Francis, our new world champion. Congratulations. See ya. Mm -hmm.